Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some mostly cloudy to overcast conditions across the region this morning, seeing some very mild temperatures for this time of year as well with temperatures in the lower 60s this morning. We're going to see temperatures in the mid to upper 60s today with a possibility of a record high temperature being set today. Our previous record was 66, still forecasting a high of 67 degrees today. So I could be seeing some uh, unseasonably warm and record setting temperatures today across Wallops. Going to see a uh, weak dry cold front move through this evening um, into the afternoon hours as well. That's going to give us more northwesterly flow uh, and northerly flow for tonight with some uh, low cloudiness building in as well. Then we'll see some more unsettled conditions once we move into Saturday and the Sunday for the weekend. Taking a look at our current sounding, we have a freezing level at 10,900 feet. Winds out of the west to west and northwest throughout the column. Fairly consistent or stay with our velocity around 30 knots up through 12,000 feet, then increasing above 40 knots, 20 to 25,000 feet with a 58 knot wind out of the west this morning. And that is our peak wind at 25,000 feet. Current surface analysis shows this cold front starting to press towards the region. As I mentioned, now, really start moving through during the afternoon into the evening hours today. And that's not going to give us any rainfall, but will give us a wind shift out of the northwest and north for this evening. That's going to allow us to see some low cloudiness built in as well after this front kind of washes off, washes out over the area, excuse me. And that's uh, going to give us a possibility of a few sprinkles this evening as a uh, weak disturbance moves along that cold front. But overall, those chances look to be uh, slim as models have continued to show drying conditions across the region. So taking a look at our current satellite imagery, you can see we do have a good amount of cloudiness across the region this morning. That's going to be the case throughout the remainder of the day. And taking a look at our camera shot, you can see that cloud cover around 12,000 feet this morning or 11,000 feet and continuing with that uh, cirrus cloudiness as well above that. So taking a look at our European model in the next few days, you can see a uh, chance of some sprinkles this evening, uh, most likely during and around midnight. Um, time frame. Then we move into Saturday. We'll see dry conditions in the morning and we should see some showers starting to move in for the late afternoon and evening hours on Saturday with our best chance of rainfall during the overnight hours of Saturday night into Sunday as well as into Sunday morning as an additional disturbance rides along this cold front and that's going to give us um, some cooler conditions for Sunday with uh, some rain showers in the morning. And for Monday, we'll continue to see those cooler conditions, temperatures in the 40s. And for Tuesday, we'll see chilly start to the day. We'll have an area of low pressure developing along the southeast coast. Uh, really uncertain whether this moisture is able to make it up in the region on Tuesday and a Wednesday. European model here, this run shows us seeing some rainfall on Wednesday morning. But uh, as of right now, leaning towards uh, less chances of rainfall for Tuesday and Wednesday with the system farther off the southeast coast. Once we move into Thursday into Friday, you're going to see some cooler conditions across the region. And then we should see uh, an area of low pressure try to move to the region for Christmas Eve or for Christmas Day, uh, possibly giving us some rain showers on either of those days. So taking a look at our risk chart for today, a high of 67 forecasted right now. Uh, low tonight at 48, so some very unseasonably mild temperatures. Our uh, normal high is at 48 degrees, so seeing our high today around 20 degrees above average as well as overnight low around 15 degrees above average. We'll see about a 20% chance of some sprinkles or light rain showers, especially around midnight tonight. Um, that's going to run from about 2,200 local till uh, 4 local Saturday morning. Northwesterly winds this afternoon becoming north-northeasterly. 5 to 10 knots, then northeasterly and light overnight, 4 to 8 knots. And then wind should pick up slightly as that cold front that moves through today returns as a warm front for tomorrow morning. And that'll give us more east-southeasterly winds, 7 to 12 knots uh, for our Saturday morning. As far as our terminal forecast, uh, should see clouds around 11,000 feet throughout the day today. Um, should see some clouds develop around 6,000 feet as we move into this afternoon around 1,400 local. But VFR conditions expected once we move overnight 
could see some cloud cover around 2,500 to 3,000 feet, so possibly some MVFR conditions. But uh, for tomorrow morning, looking like we'll have an overcast deck around 2,500 feet, could see some clouds uh, lower than that once they move into the late morning hours on Saturdays, that warm front does move through. Our tides are currently normal, and looking at Saturday and Sunday, Saturday overcast, a chance of low clouds and a slight chance of a rain shower in the late afternoon and evening, an evening high of 59. Uh, some of the models are showing a warmer temperature during Saturday afternoon. However, I do expect us to have a good amount of cloud cover. And uh, with that, expecting temperatures to remain in the upper 50s for our uh, Saturday. Once we move into Saturday night, however, going to see temperatures uh, go up into the lower 60s before that cold front moves through. It'll be cloudy, mild, and slightly breezy. A chance of showers during the early overnight, then breezy and cooler with isolated rain showers overnight. As I mentioned, temperatures in the lower 60s during the early overnight following into the 40s by dawn. We'll see a low around 47 degrees. Then for Sunday, we'll see overcast and breezy conditions with light rain likely during the morning and early afternoon. Partly cloudy by evening, a morning high of 47. Temperatures falling in the upper 30s to lower 40s by afternoon. We'll see the best chance of rainfall with that cold front moving through and then with that additional disturbance moving through for um, Sunday morning. We'll see some gustier winds with that cold front and some post cold air vection as well. I should see a uh, wind advisory looking like a greater than 50% chance uh, briefly um, Saturday night as that cold front moves through and a slight chance on Sunday morning. And move into our uh, seven day outlook. You can see here warmest temperature today at 67, 63 for tomorrow, and that's going to be an evening low, 40, excuse me, high, 47 for our uh, Sunday. And this will be a late morning um, low slash high with temperatures falling throughout the day on Sunday. Um, so uh, cooler temperatures expected by noon on Sunday versus uh, the early morning hours. We'll see a low of 26 degrees on Monday morning. So a cold start to the beginning of the work week of next week. Temperatures in the 40s for Monday and Tuesday. Then could see a 50 degree temperature on Wednesday. But right now, it looks like more seasonable temperatures for Monday through Thursday of next week. Slight chance to see that area low pressure give us some rain showers on Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, continue to monitor that, but right now, leaning towards us staying dry. And uh, as I mentioned, once we move into Thursday and Friday of next week, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, we'll have an area low pressure starting to affect the region. Right now, uncertain of uh, what the timing of that is and how much moisture it will have. Right now, it looks like Christmas Eve should be uh, primarily sunny before that dairy a low pressure pasta moves through for Christmas Day. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. We'll be back on Monday morning at 8.15 at 10 a.m.